Hello friends, it is Kendra. As you can see, I am in my car. Um, we are about to do a grocery haul. Um, so I am here at Walmart. It's probably really hard to tell, but it looks busy and it is like six o'clock on a Friday night and I have a giant list. Uh, I have all this plus another like half page. So I'm gonna be in there for my guess is, I'm gonna guess at least an hour and 20 minutes for all this stuff. So let's see, I'm actually curious. So I think I might time myself, um, but then I will meet you guys back at the house and I will show you all this huge like restock that we're doing so it's really more of less of a grocery haul and more of like a grocery restock because we i haven't done like a big grocery shop in like three weeks at least so all right i'm gonna stop procrastinating and go get my workout on walking around walmart so let's go <laughs> I thought I would also share just my regular old setup when I go to the grocery store. Purse on one side, always bring water with me, my list, and all of your reusable bags. Don't forget those. Whew. Well, hello. I'm sure you can see the sweat gleaming off of me. It is so hot in here right now. Uh, but oh my gosh, I had a very good prediction because oh hang on a second and then my camera <laughs> cut me off so what I was saying was that uh, it took me an hour 21 minutes and 16 seconds to do all of this uh, as you can see my cart was very full and I was so hot because it was 102 degrees outside <laughs> Uh, but apparently I, uh, did not capture that clip like I thought I did. So, yeah, here's some sneak peeks of everything I got in my cart, and let's go home and see what the damage was. I thought I would also share just what our fridge and pantry was looking like before I did all this grocery shopping. Looking a bit bare, minus our condiments all in the door. We have... A lot of pickles and a lot of condiments up there, but not a lot of solid food. A few things of leftovers. There's only a couple eggs left. Some tortillas, a little bit of cheese, but uh, absolutely nothing going on in the meat drawer. And veggies are looking a little sad. So let's go get some uh, stuff to put these condiments on. <laughs> uh, our, our freezer is also looking quite bare. Our meats is what's normally on the right hand side there. We just have a little chicken and some sausage, chicken nuggets, some frozen berries, and some frozen french fries. But yeah, not a lot of meats going on here. Definitely need to restock on those. And just some popsicles and butter and some frozen juice and ice cubes in the fridge. Not too much going on. These cabinets are definitely bare. Chips and cereal is what normally goes all up in there. And then on the left is normally where I have potatoes, root vegetables, uh, breads normally go in here, all of our pantry stuff. So like there is some stuff, but uh, not not a lot that I can put all together. I need, I need the meats <laughs> to uh, put some meals together, so. Here is a little overview of what our kitchen is looking like right now, and uh, let's get into all the food. So I got six pounds of ground beef, some chicken, some ground pork here, ground Italian sausage, pork chops, some sirloin steaks, uh, some bacon, two things of kielbasa, 16 hot dogs, and two pounds of Black Forest ham. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, and two bags of California blend vegetables, mozzarella cheese, 
coffee creamer, Parmesan cheese, feta cheese, butter, lots of butter, vanilla yogurt, cream cheese, macaroni salad, big old thing of Colby Jack cheese, and two things of Tapatio buffalo chicken dip, two gallons of milk, eggs, romaine lettuce, green onions and chives, green beans, two pounds of carrots, a big old bag of broccoli, some peeled garlic, two bell peppers, some Roma tomatoes, some onions, sweet potatoes, yellow potatoes, and red potatoes. Then fruit, we've got bananas, some apples, lemons, a lime, and a thing of golden kiwis from New Zealand. They're so delicious. Some coffee, uh, honey nut Cheerios, some white bread, and some Wonder Bread, hot dog buns, and uh, granola, some croutons, white cheddar Cheez-Its, cornflakes, cinnamon oat crunch Cheerios, fruit and yogurt cereal, and some Nature Valley uh, crunch bars and a loaf of sourdough, some tortilla chips, some more pantry stuff here. We've got mayonnaise, arborio rice, olive garden dressing, and honey mustard dressing, panko breadcrumbs, apricot preserves, some turmeric, and some smoked paprika, and a can of diced jalapenos. Next, I have some other things that didn't really fit into any category, and that's Kleenexes, some pig ears for the dog, band-aids, and this mouthwash concentrate, um, and a glass to go with it, and some of my new favorite Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. The next morning, I also had to go out to a different store to get some things that Walmart didn't have. So here is pictured ground coriander, a wild rice blend, beef and mushroom stock concentrate. Then they also were fully stocked on our favorite like cheap brand of ramen, so I had to get some of that. Um, some caramel iced coffee and a splatter screen uh, because I was making bacon the other day and I got a good old burn on my hand, so I needed one of those. Also, a couple things I did not get uh, on film were the 15 pound bag of dog food and two gallons of distilled water and so total between the two grocery stores and all of these items I spent a total of four hundred and eighty six dollars and fifty one cents in American dollars so so this was quite a lot of money I have not done this big of a grocery haul I don't think like since we moved here almost so lots and lots of food lots of money spent but i hope this is going to get us through like the next three weeks so the next morning i decided i was going to make my life a lot easier and prep a lot of this stuff so here i am i always love wearing an apron in the kitchen and i also love to add uh, one of my like flower sack dish towels to my apron that way I can dry dishes or my hands or whatever I need to wipe the counters real quick but yeah setting myself up for a morning of food prepping always going to start with washing my hands I am also going to be taking off my wedding ring because I'm going to be dealing with meats here in a minute so I don't want to get it all nasty so the first thing I'm actually going to do uh, before this full day of food prep is going to be making a batch of blueberry muffins specifically the crusties brand that is our favorite like store box brand uh, fun fact with 
uh, box mixes, whether it be muffins, cakes, whatever, don't cook them as long as they say to. Always check them a little bit beforehand because most of the time I find they recommend far too long for baking time. So just keep an eye on them and they say it really nice and moist, but they do not last long in our house. They are a favorite. <laughs> After putting those muffins in the oven, I'm going to be doing a round of dishes and then I'm going to be prepping out meats for the meals that I have chosen for the week. I tend to do every plate meals. Um, I've actually just kept a lot of the recipes they've sent and I buy my own ingredients, but I'm weighing out all the portions of meat that I need and sticking them in bags so I can put them in the freezer and then just take them out when I am ready to thaw them and use them for meals. I'm also making sure to date and label each bag so I know how long it's been in my freezer and also clean really well, especially after the meats. Those muffins have also come out of the oven and so I'm letting those cool and I'm going to prep out some other vegetables back in these containers here. I started doing this with the every plate meals because they don't come pre-portioned out like HelloFresh does. So I have gotten these containers and then I just fill them with everything I need for the meal. That way I can grab it out and I'm ready to go. I am also going to be taking these muffins out, but before I get to the chopping portion of this pr food prep, I think it's dab time. <laughs> Especially when doing tasks like this, I love to do a dab because it just keeps my mind calm and relaxed and I can really zone in and focus on what I am doing. I do want to always be clear though that you need to check your local laws for carting cannabis. Everyone has different tolerance levels and just make sure to be safe. I have a little bit left of a crumbly wax here. I think the strain was Gush Mints. Uh, just kind of a sweet kind of flavor, um, nothing too crazy, but yeah, just doing a dab before I am focusing in and chopping all these vegetables. I know a lot of people think that being a stoner is just like sitting around with the munchies all day and not wanting to do anything, but it actually helps me with my anxiety to like calm my mind down from worrying and overthinking and stressing out and therefore not getting anything done because I'm trying to start too many things at once and it will help me calm down and really focus in and zero in and actually be productive so it does not work the same way for everybody that's why you have to figure out what works best for you but this is just my experience so moving back to all of the food prep, I am going to be chopping up some baby carrots here that I had left over and using those in salads throughout the week and then chopping up these larger carrots for meals. Um, those will be going as sides with dinners, doing the same thing with the broccoli and also the same thing with some sweet potatoes. One of the recipes called for peeled sweet potatoes because I'm going to be making uh, mashed sweet potatoes and the other one just calls for them uh, on the side to be roasted in the oven so prepping those and then also I'm going to be chopping up some herbs here like these green onions separating the whites and the greens and also chives uh, those will be used for garnishes and meals and then also chopping up all of these tomatoes these are going to be used in meals as well Again, cleaning up that sink and everything in between all the prep that I am doing and doing dishes as well. Here I am just washing all of that romaine and uh, just tearing off the bad ends, ripping it all up and putting it into pre-portioned bags for salads. Also on my salads, I love a good hard boiled egg. So I am putting those all in my little amazing little egg maker that I have here waiting for those to boil. The other thing I do that I think helps helps them to be peeled easier is I get a, a bowl of really cold water to put them in right after they're done. And I have the oven mitts because they're really hot. Also hitting my dab pen a little bit here uh, as this was like hours long. Um, 
you can't quite tell because these are all nicely time-lapsed for you but again taking out those really hot hot eggs and peeling them all and then setting them aside uh, to cool down the next thing I'm going to be doing is kind of rearranging this baking cabinet that I have here I have uh, lots of different dry goods over here, but I am going to be filling it with even more. There's other things that I found that I use quite often that I want to store here. And so I'm going to be taking out my big containers of flour and sugar and finding a new home for them. I have this cabinet that is above my stove and microwave and it's not fully filled and this is the area where I normally need the flour and the sugar anyway and so I just decided to move my containers of all-purpose and bread flour and my big container of sugar over here along with my flour sifter. So moving back to the new things that I'm going to be adding to this cabinet um, I have some labels that just came with some of these old containers. Um, I got them all off of Amazon. I can link them below, um, but putting on these little chalkboard labels and I'm going to make this cabinet look really nice. You'll see in the end here. I love how it turned out, uh, but yeah, just adding nice chalkboard labels to everything and getting them out of their other packaging that way everything can fit really nicely and it can be nice and organized and everyone can find what they need. <laughs> This isn't as pretty and beautiful as some of those other restocking videos you can find on like TikTok or like shorter YouTube videos, but man, it was so satisfying to have everything in the same kind of container and just being able to see what's in everything is really nice, but I hope you find this as satisfying as I do. So after filling all those new containers with the items I wanted to add, I took everything out of the cabinet so I could rearrange it how I wanted to. And what I ended up doing was just kind of going uh, from less sweet to more sweet, uh, going from left to right. So on the left there, I have my rices. I have Arborio rice and pearl couscous, a wild rice blend and white rice. And then I have panko breadcrumbs and cornstarch. Then quick oats and granola. And then my baking cocoa and brown sugar. And then I also have powdered sugar and my semi-sweet semi chocolate chips. Also a box of cane sugar there on the side and my own fry seasoning and my biscuit cutter. Now, speaking of seasonings, another thing I wanted to do was make these spice blends that they have for these Every Plate meals. Every Plate is also like a sister company of HelloFresh, so if you just Google HelloFresh spice blends, you can find a list of them online. Now, the ones that I am making here are the Tuscan Heat Spice and the Tunisian Spice uh, blends. I just got, I had most of the ingredients for them already. There were a few other ones I had to order online or go pick up at the store. Uh, but here you'll see I'm just blending them all together, mixing them up, and I have my own little jar of those spice blends for when I'm ready to make those meals.
All right, friends, here is the reveal of my fully stocked fridge. Definitely looking a bit happier than it was before. We still have all those condiments up top, but some extra milk and coffee creamer, lots of eggs and our pre-prepped food in there. Uh, that's what I also have. Back behind that dip is some of our pre-prepped meals with all of our ingredients ready to go. So I can just grab out a container. I've got all my salad ingredients here and my carrots, lettuce, hard-boiled eggs, chives, herbs, all the good things. <laughs> Meat drawer is definitely looking happier. The hot dogs and the ham we normally use for lunches and then I put the thawing meats over in that other container for dinners. This drawer is happier with lots more cheese and some macaroni salads and puddings back there. And then moving on to the freezer, we still have the things that were in there, but lots more chicken, ground beef, pork, all the meats for dinner. Uh, up top, we've got our frozen veggies and our more, more frozen butter there, our ice cream and bananas and some more hot dog buns frozen back there, some more veggies, all the good things in the freezer. <laughs> Our chip and cereal cabinet now has some chips and cereal and some sourdough bread stocked up on ramen, on some snacks, on our potato and onion like root vegetable basket, have some more pastas and muffin mix back there. And we also have breads now and hot dog buns. And we have a bit more pantry supplies and condiments as well. Here's an overview of the kitchen and I hope you enjoyed this restock video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more kitchen content. Have a great day!